What's good, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. The Real Monstro Rage, Melvin1185, Gameboy20, LightsOut0221, Saturn Coon, Darren Abe, Samantha Morrison, Sandra Orris, Wolf26, Elijah Young, Jeremy James, Andreas Vega, Salvador Ortiz, Gameboy20, Big Shafe, Shady Demoness, Joseph Wooden, Wind Waker 57, Baca Bread, Jan Noose, Adam Gleaton, Pele Finstad, Ashton Babb, Sam Parker, Thor Yang, JCACBH, J <clears throat> Dwayne Pope, Zizen Todoroki, Brian Imica Njoku, Dorian Wicks, Bernard Kale, Bro Beans, Isaiah, and as always, I'd like to give a shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, and Devin Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button right down below. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, click the link down below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Hmm. Wait too long. Get around. Got owned by a guy named Duke. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow, this dude, this dude right here, is this Colonel Sanders? Yes. All right, all right, okay. Let me explain. Oh wait, that's her job. That's, yeah, it's actually the channel name. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me explain. Uh, an another animated channel. Uh, another cute lady that makes animations. Of course, yes. Which here's the thing. I know a lot about those. That's that's <laughs> not that, that's not the primary reason we're watching this. We're not watching this for Nick. Although I think Nick will enjoy this. This is let me explain's most recent video, and it was requested on our Discord. So I was just like, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen some. Let me explain. So might as well uh, might as well give it a shot. Uh, so yeah, I. Yeah, I know we watched Jaden. We've watched some of uh, James. You know, odd ones out. Uh, we've we've dabbled in a couple anime <coughs> things, and uh, we're actually uh, uh, doing some animation stuff ourselves. Well, not me or yeah, anything like that. But we're doing uh, we're expanding our types of videos that we do, and animation is one of them with uh, certain community members that we have, and uh, we hope that you all enjoy that whenever that does come out. But for now, yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, it, Jacob, this is your first introduction to Let Me Explain, isn't it? Mm, I think so. Maybe, maybe not. I you may, you my may have my seen her in passing, but... My memory is not too good, but I do have fond memories, or not fond, but vivid memories of daycare. So. Yes. <laughs> and which, that's exactly what Let Me Explain is uh, going to be discussing. Horror, horror daycare. stories. Oh, me too. I remember, me God, too. This, this one woman that worked there, I guess that was watching this sweater. Oh, God, she was evil. She sent me down to force me to eat coleslaw as a as a like a, you know three year old <laughs> kid or whatever three or four however old I was I remember it very well because I I hated coleslaw when I was a kid I still do I don't like I don't mind it Fuck now coleslaw. but when I was a baby I was like oh hell no. Fuck and, coleslaw. But I remember I her coleslaw. like literally grabbing There's my cheeks. There's so many different kinds of coleslaw. I remember her though. grabbing my cheeks and holding my mouth open and sticking the spoon in there like it was it was bad. I'm yeah, not gonna say the name of it. I, mean, I, I never had that. Yeah. Um, they had a little playhouse outside, you know, like the little miniature houses. Mm -hmm. We were all playing and everything, and I was in there hiding one day, and I went in there and looked up, and I saw this wolf spider about as big as my fucking a hand, and I remember screaming and running out of that bitch. <laughs> I never went back in that little playhouse. I remember. Um, I won't go in any of them, to be honest. I, I remember um, when I was in daycare. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was me and like ten other kids, and uh, it was it was fun. But the problem was, um, there was one kid who was really really not nice. Uh, I'm not gonna name his name, but I will say this: uh, he threw shoes at me and hit me in the head. Oh shit, man! And you uh, got off the old shiv and showed him a lesson. Yeah, oh, no, I'm right? Sorry, that's not for the, daycare. That's prison. My bad. Yeah, <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> Sorry. It kind of is like a little concentration camp for kids. It is. It is. Although, the <laughs> the people who took care of me were actually really nice. And I remember we had, like, this little fake graduation ceremony and everything, you know, you know, for, like, us being there for a while. And uh, I remember I was, like, being silly, and I was, like, patting, like, this one kid on the head beside me with, like, the little little 
scroll that they gave us to like hold and they said you had to hold on to this till after it was over and then I was like okay it's punk <laughs> just punk <laughs> and then uh, I remembered my mom has that video had that video and I saw it uh not too long ago and I was like wow I remember being so mad there was this duck landed it like somehow ended in the, the area and I was petting it it came right up to me you know I was, I was sitting there petting it it was so cool and then next thing you know fucking the other kids I was like ah! they came running toward it and that duck flew away and I never saw it of course it, it did oh. fucking bastards I ought to break your <laughs> damn fingers off one by one and listen to them scream. Oh, damn. Sorry. Cruel, man. A little, Cruel. A little too cruel. That's that's prison. Sorry. Yeah, um, again. Again. <laughs> you, you need to stop. <laughs> anyway, daycare stories by Let Me Explain. Uh, let's get this up on screen. Uh, her uh, name is Rebecca, if oh, you didn't Rebecca. know. Rebecca. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, Yes. Oh, hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers, my little oodle-lollies. Rebecca Hare here. So, did you know I was a daycare kid? Probably not, because I've never mentioned it before. Makes sense, given that Mom and Dad were both working parents, and leaving one's infant at home alone is generally considered problematic. Now, I know it might be hard to believe, but I haven't always been the pinnacle of refinement and maturity that you see before you today. No, no. As a kid, I was a bit of a rascal. For example, the box story. Now at this daycare we had a big playroom and in this playroom there was a dark little alcove where custodial stuff and equipment was kept all the time and one morning during playtime I noticed someone had left a large box there. Big enough for a child to hide behind. Now there's a concept that I call kid logic and it's basically <coughs> just a name for that randomness that kids possess or the absurdity that is their reasoning sometimes. For example, when I saw that box that's when my kid logic kicked in and I said, I'm going to hide behind that box for as long as possible and see what happens. This is a great idea. So when the adults weren't looking, I slunk behind the box and crouched down, hiding myself entirely. I must have stayed there for half an hour before playtime ended, and they ushered all the kids away to a different room for a new activity. And funny enough, the adults were none the wiser I was gone. I beat the system. Now this is it. it took an hour of me hiding before an adult came back to the room and visibly began looking around for something. Couldn't imagine what it might be. Now where did I leave that small child? Must be around here someplace. I peeked my head up over the edge of the box to watch, but that proved to be my undoing. I was spotted. <laughs> I've been compromised. I got in big trouble for that, of course. I was good at getting away with things when I was a kid, as you'll see in the next story. Now, one time at this daycare, they brought in a whiteboard, and you were only allowed to draw on it with adult supervision. Okay, I won't draw on the board. Instead, I stole a green dry erase marker when no one was looking and proceeded to decorate my face. Hey, listen, I didn't break the rules. They specifically said don't draw on the board. They said nothing about my face. I put the marker back and walked away, but was promptly spotted by an adult. Becca, did you do this to yourself? No. <laughs> did somebody do this to you? Yes. Who did it? Well, sheesh, I hadn't thought I had that far. And I honestly didn't even think to blame another kid. Instead, that good old kid logic kicked in. And I came up with the most foolproof story that was sure to get my hide out of trouble. I was minding my own business looking for something to play with, and then the Marcus came over and marked on my face. Nailed it. I will never understand how that daycare worker kept a straight face, but off the time out I went. So, what are you in for? Disrupting the status quo? Whoa. I have some gum on my nose. Something I haven't mentioned yet is that my sister Rachel also went to this daycare. And because she's two years older than me, she got to be in the big kids program called the Superstars. And I was so jealous that I took to calling them the Stupid Stars. Ah. And extra crispy on that bird there, little Becca. But one thing that will always be a significant memory to me is the day I discovered that the Superstars <coughs> had an intent. Yeah. Yes, no. they had Super, Super Mario. Mario. Yep, I remember that. that we were always fighting. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. A console video game. I 
thought I was looking at magic. Na 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 Batman. The only thing I ever wanted to do at playtime was go over to the big kid area and watch them play Super Mario Brothers. Yep. Don't you dare tell me that gamers aren't real entertainers. I was watching people play video games ah, long before Mark. the appliers and septicides and deep highs of the world made it a thing. But when playtime was over, the daycare staff had to pry me away, kicking and screaming from that TV set. One day, however, I came up with a brilliant idea. When they pulled me away from the big kids' corner and sat me down with the other little kids, I proceeded to scream and cry that I miss my big sister, and nothing was going to console me except being allowed to be with her in the big kid area. I guess the adults didn't know what else to do, so they actually let me go back over. Holy Crayola, that actually worked. Sure enough, I made a beeline for the Nintendo. Screw you, sis, I got video games to observe. It didn't take long for an adult to catch on, and I was eventually pulled away again. When I tried the same shtick, they gently said, Becca, you say you miss your sister, but every time you go over there, you just watch them play video games. Okay, Bust. they had me there. Crap. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty solid accusation. Alright, grown up, I'll concede to you this time. But one day, I'll be grown up, and I'll watch all the video games I want. Don't you mean play them? No. Now I've saved the best story <laughs> in the past. Even when I started kindergarten, there was no escaping this daycare. Because one of the services they provided was picking up children from my elementary school and taking them back to the daycare where the parents would <clears> pick them up <throat> later. So every day, I didn't get picked didn't up have by that. parent or get yeah, on the that that school bus. I waited <clears> for a big white van. That sounds rather nefarious now that I say that. Yes, it does. But yeah, Rachel and I would wait for the van, pile in with the other kids, and go wait to get picked up at the daycare. And this was a routine my kindergarten teacher knew. She was a very good teacher and kept track of the way each of her students were supposed to go home. So she would make sure I got in that van. Well, I was getting a little bored of the routine. And here's good old kid logic again, because many of my classmates would get to walk home. And for some reason, I decided wait, was that, that was the cool thing to do. I aspired to walk home, but that wasn't going to happen with Miss Responsibility Pants botching my whole operation. So like the little devil I was, I waited until we had a substitute teacher. Oh. All right, here's your evil chancellor, Mr. Kiddo. When school ended that day, instead of getting into the daycare van, I hid behind a brick pillar and waited for the van to leave without me. Funny how my sister never said anything. She must have been like, all right, I guess she died. As soon as the van left, I headed <laughs> off on foot. My house was within walking distance, only about a mile away. But I began to think as I walked that no one was actually going to be at the house, and I had no way of getting inside. Probably should have thought of that before. So instead of walking home, I made the executive decision to walk to the daycare instead. Now, I knew, I knew what I was doing was against the rules. Because every single time I saw a white vehicle of any sort coming in the distance, I would duck behind a tree or bush as fast as I could. When I was so close that I could see the daycare up ahead, I noticed what was most definitely a white man approaching. And the only tree immediately available was thinner than me. So not only was this tree already insufficient and in hiding me, but when I jumped behind it, I didn't think to put the tree between me and the line of sight of the van. So when the daycare staff approached, this is what they saw. <laughs> I'm revoking that evil genius. Got the van, made me get inside, and guess who I found in the back seat? The snitch that ratted me oh. out. My own sister. How could you? We were brothers, you and I. Wait. And that is just a handful of examples of what a cool monster I was. I talked That's to my sister fun. about this script, and she Damn. came up with even more stories about this daycare. So if you guys like this video, then maybe there'll be another one in the future. Who knows? All right. Have fun out there, little alleys, and no. avoid white You've got the backyard stories so when I could go on and on. I've got... I Oh, me too, dude. Jesus, us kids in the neighborhood and our big backyard. <laughs> I mean, hey, I couldn't tell you I, the amount of adventures and like oh, scenarios dude. we'd play. And I, I had two different backyards growing up. I had the one like in my uh, like way back in the sticks, like where my family was, mm -hmm. dude. There was like the little holler that was back there that you could go to and just like go up. And I could, like, go visit my Uncle Joe and then uh, my friend Allison and Jesse. And then uh, later on, 
uh, when we moved out of the holler when I was like 12 years old. Dude, we had this huge forest that my friend Andrew owned, mm-hmm. or his, his family yeah, we had, had rather. Wood, we had woods in our backyard, too. And, we went way back there. So. Well, yeah. We, it, the thing with this one was there were these big rocks that you could, like, leap to back and forth oh, and everything. Yeah. And me and him were just, like, leaping all over the place. Just like, I bet you I, bet you I can make it. I bet you I can make it. And then I, like, jump and I make it. He jumps. He, like, skins his knee really bad. Mm-hmm. And then he can't play with me for, like, a day or two because yeah, he's Yeah, we worried. always end up getting hurt or scratched or cut or bruised <clears> or... <throat> or I mean, there wasn't too many broken Thank, bones. Thankfully, so. we so. didn't, like, fall and hurt ourselves very bad. Well, we, but there was opportunity the, for We had those little happen. plastic ramps from Kmart. So we would get those. Yeah. And, uh, we had this giant... Up by our day car, daycare. We had this big hill that's like this. And it goes down into a <laughs> soccer field. <laughs> That was like kind of abandoned. <laughs> yeah. So one day it snowed real big, and we took that sled over there. We put it in there, and we packed it over with snow. And we went, yeah. took inner tubes down it and over and off the ramp we went. Oh, my god! Over and over and over. <laughs> Me and my cousin Josh, we actually got a piece of ice out of his pool that was broken, and we used it as the little ramp thing. Oh, we, nice. like built up, we like built up a snowpack, mm-hmm. put the ice on top of it, put some snow on top of it, and then we rode down. Like, the hill wasn't that tall. It was like... I you could you could get a pretty decent run up to it, but one but my cousin Josh cleared the road one time. Yeah. Like it was like it we jumped over the like little dirt road that went up to his house. Oh, dude, that was like one of the best times ever. But yeah, some good shit. Yeah, we didn't do inner tubes. Did I? I didn't have anything like that. <laughs> yeah, it was my neighbor's inner tube. But really, we'd slide down the hill on anything that was flat. Um. We, didn't, we never had like the car hood or anything that my my uh, dad would tell us about. Oh yeah, oh, we had gosh. a '57 Chevy car hood. I'm like, who the fuck just had those? No, my, ours was like, just a cheap plastic sled from yeah, Wally World. Yeah, Walmart or Kmart or whatever. It's like, yeah, wasn't nothing fancy. It was it was bright it yellow. It was, ours was bright yellow. It was it was pretty cool. I remember we all had like a different. We found a shopping cart for one. That was okay. Awesome. No, didn't we went, do that. Uh, we got a buddy. We put him up in pads and a helmet, and we took a shopping cart as fast as we could down a hill. And then the other person had a this little uh, go kart looking thing, but it had pedals. Yeah, and we had a helmet and stuff like that. We charge at each other and play chicken. And we wipe out, and it was just glorious. I mean, just yeah, shit, wipe but... out. I remember like we had two trampolines. Uh, one was shorter than the other. Yeah. And jumping from one to the other was yeah we did it like jousting we'd tie balloons to the back of it and try to pop each other's balloon but like, oh. we're jousting so yeah that, but it was kind of like a mix between twisted metal and Mario Kart but just a bunch <laughs> of kids in the neighborhood dude that's awesome we'd make weapons and toy swords I, t- I taped a nail on the back of it so I could pop the balloons easier so oh we, that we could have easily dangerous. got hurt yeah that's but pretty dangerous my favorite and probably most dangerous thing that I ever did was. <clears throat> I had a buddy that lived at the very top of my neighborhood and I live like closer to the bottom of my neighborhood and our neighborhood is just a very, very long hill. Like it just goes uphill yeah. all the way to the top, like pretty much. And it's probably at least like a mile back to the top. Oh, wow. And we would uh, lay down on our skateboards and luge from his house at the top of the hill all the way down to my yeah. house at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Yeah, it was That's a lot of awesome. fun. But, like, you know, cars would come, so we'd have to make sure we, like, went out of the way of the cars because you can't really just stop yourself, yeah. like, until you Ew. get to the bottom. Yeah, I uh, I went so fast on rollerblades one time that I couldn't stop that I actually smacked into a car. Oh, shit. And I didn't dent it or anything. I put my hands out in front of it as good as I could and tried to stop. Yeah. And I remember hitting the car, going, boof, and then it went up and smacked my chest. And I, it knocked the air out of me. Yeah. And I didn't dent the car, and I never told anyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it was... Uh, like, ah, boom! I remember. Uh, I remember the first time I ever got to uh, ride around on a four wheeler by myself. Uh, there was this. Uh, there was this pit, or this not pit, rather. It's more of a a, a little bit of a, de- a decline uh, mm-hmm. on this other side of the road where my family's house was. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you got the four wheeler up to speed, you could actually jump the road. Oh God! And dude. I cleared that road so many times on that four wheeler. Hell yeah! And uh, here's the thing. Stand up on it. And well, uh, oh dude, yeah, stand up. Stand I made up the mistake one time of leaning forward too heavy, oh, and I God. came back and just like just like yeah. lost grip, and I fell off the four wheeler, and the four wheeler kept rolling. 
And I was just like, oh, shit. And I ran up, got back on the four-wheeler, and just kept going. I was like, holy crap. Woo. That was scary. And uh, I remembered I peeled around the corner one time and threw up gravel. And, got and like, the gravel hit my uh, my aunt's car and she talked and she yelled at my mom about that she's like can you believe what she did it's like or can you believe what he did and i'm like oh god i'm like, sorry like i'm Harry sorry Potter. did you really how'd it go <laughs> no no my mom was just like I mean, go, go up there and apologize very irresponsible don't let me catch you doing that again. yeah my dad on the other hand my dad he didn't care about me yeah it was yeah. tomfoolery <laughs> yeah but <sighs> fun stuff anyway that was daycare stories by let me explain that's pretty, that's pretty funny yeah this was good stuff so again thank you all very much for tuning in if you want to see more from let me explain uh, feel free to click name in the title of the video and feel free to uh, check out the link in the uh, to the original for the original video in the description and I guess until next time I'm Nate I'm Nick I'm Jacob we'll see you then everyone peace out <laughs>